Hey guys, today's video is about more products that have been made for Saab by Saab enthusiasts for Saab enthusiasts. And this one is about Saab 3D print. You might remember this car. It's one of the two uh, estate wagon cars that we purchased uh, a few months ago. And this one was in quite a bad state with damaged wing and rust and all sorts of things going wrong with it. And we've done lots of videos on it, such as retrofitting the interior to have heated memory seats, the TI's CC2 Plus head unit that was installed in this car. Dave's also replaced the headlights with xenon uh, lights which was an amazing feat considering he had to retrofit the front and rear gravity sensors as well and it's all working completely fine as if it was stock which is really really awesome obviously we've replaced the damaged wing on the other side and uh, dave's done a lot of work removing a ton of rust that we found uh, behind the panels. But today's job is to do some further upgrades to modernize the car a little bit and this is courtesy of Saab 3D Print who as I said before are Saab enthusiasts who make stuff specifically for Saab people to modernize their cars. So Saab 3D Print is a small company, it's run by two brothers, Jacob and Matty, and they find it fun to make new and useful accessories for their beloved Saab community. They make a wide variety of products, some of which I'm going to show you today, and they've got some upcoming things such as a cup holder for the 9.3 which has USB charge points. And I've also been talking to them about potentially creating USB ports, exactly like the charging kits that they already create, but instead of charging, they actually go to a aftermarket head unit as an extension to the USB ports on that. So you can plug in USB sticks or your phone and it will actually integrate with the aftermarket head unit. So that's gonna be really cool as well. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's uh, go into the car and have a play. So the guys at Saab 3D Print have sent me a few different products uh, to install in this car. So I'm going to start with the really cool stuff first though. And that's this voltmeter which also have USB charge ports on. And when you think about 3D printed stuff, you're normally thinking, yeah, but it's going to be crap quality. This is not crap quality. I mean, if you look at the actual design of it, the beauty, it's, it's printed to a very, very high standard. And it's not only the 3D print quality, it's also how the guys have actually put it together. It is in a really professional way. Look at that, it's got their little logo underneath it as well. And the uh, part which actually plugs into the back of the cigarette lighter is made perfect for the Saab. I mean, this, you, what, what more could you ask for? It's practically a plug and play thing, which just looks beautiful. As well as uh, the main thing, we also have these smaller USB charge points, which are made for the blanking plates on the dashboard. So if you don't want to have the voltmeter, then you can just grab one of these blanking points and, and have USB ports. These are actually what I've asked the guys to make as USB extensions so that we can actually connect these USB ports to an aftermarket head unit so that you can plug your phone in for our, our Android Auto or Apple CarPlay or stick a USB in with your music or whatever, because that'll be pretty cool as well. The guys have also sent a slim can adapter, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, and this 3D printed washer fluid uh, cap cover for the uh, engine bay now. We know how often the Saab ones, the yellow ones break. So this is gonna be pretty cool as well. Okay, let's start with this. So the first, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open the uh, center console and we're gonna remove the screw on the back here, which Dave has already started to in his anxious way. And the next step is to go around the back of the center console. and pull off the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the back off, what we need to do is pop the voltmeter in place and uh, just drop the wire inside and across. Dave, can you see the wire coming down here? Got it? Yep. Okay, all right, now we can pop the uh, There we go. So with a click and a bit of force, it is now sitting in place. And that looks absolutely lovely sitting there now so far. So now what we're going to do is remove the cigarette lighter plug from the back of the cigarette lighter. So now we're gonna plug in the new voltmeter, which just plugs directly into the back of the cigarette lighter. 
uh, perfectly made for this car, which is awesome. And then we're going to plug the power for the cigarette lighter back in on top of it. So the cigarette lighter still works, plus we're going to have power for the voltmeter and the USB chargers, like that. Absolutely perfect, so easy. Right, let's put this back on. There we go. And then the last thing that we need to do is screw the center console back up. All right, let's have a look and see what this thing looks like. And there we go, look at that, absolutely perfect, showing 12.1 volts on the battery, but obviously you can turn that off if that's annoying you. You can have your night panel mode without the screen on, or you can switch it back on when you do want to see it. Uh, that is a really, really nice feature. If you're, for example, listening to music in the car uh, without the engine running and you want to keep an eye on what the voltage of the battery is in case uh, you drain the battery, that is absolutely lovely. Okay, let's have a look at the other uh, items that we have here. Okay, so. Uh, we've actually been wanting to do this for a while because when we got this car, this did actually have a piece here, uh, this blanking plate, but uh, at some point it got lost. Um, I blame Dave, but um, the, uh, the, the thing is, this, these new USB charge points is going to give us a blanking plate and something functional uh, to charge phones. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So the first thing that we need to do is remove this silver trim part and uh, that's what we're going to do now. So the, the first thing uh, th to be able to do that, we need to remove this ashtray and this one's actually broken. So we're just going to take the uh, top part off and then uh, just pull the rest of it out using a plastic removal tool. There we go. So now we've uh, found two new screws. So we're going to take them out now. So now that we've removed these two screws, there's actually nothing holding this in place. But before we try to remove it, we should just unplug the heated seat controllers and we can just put a hand underneath, pop them out and unplug them. Don't lose that one. <laughs> like so. Okay, so now that we've removed all these buttons, we need to remove this whole silver trim. And the way that we do that is starting from this bottom bit using a uh, plastic removal tool. Start at, we, we lift it up and it will come out. As simple as that. There we go. Now we don't need to remove it any further than this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the uh, cigarette lighter adapter in preparation for installing the new USB ports. And this is what we're looking for. Uh, so we're gonna just pop the wire in here and just push this in place. Look at that absolute perfect fit. And we're gonna plug this into the back of the cigarette lighter. Like so, again, absolutely perfect fit. Really, really well made this is. And then we're gonna plug in the power for the cigarette lighter into the back of that. So. Perfect. So, and now we can start putting it back together. Where's that one? <laughs> We've lost it again. Oh, no. uh, here it is. <laughs> okay, look at that. Amazing. That just looks, it looks like it's meant to be there. So we're just going to put the rest of the dashboard back together now. And then the ashtray. I'll move. Absolute perfection. And that is what the uh, other shaped one looks like, just sitting there. Again, it just clips straight into place really, really well. So that is an absolutely perfect one. So you get to choose this one or this one, or you can have this one here, or I could have put this one over here. So imagine uh, that you have your satellite navigation phone up here and you don't want to have a massive cable going into the center console, you don't need to because what you could do is you can replace this blank or this blank with USB ports and that would make it really, really much easier. So these guys at Saab 3D Print are making some proper quality stuff, clearly. 
So right, let's have a look at some of the other things that they've sent me so I can show you those. So this thing here is a slim can adapter. Okay, so it's just a very simple plastic ring, but which has uh, these two parts missing. And what is this for? Well, let's have a look what we have here. Our Saab cup holder, which is a bit stiff, but you can see that there's these rubber inserts and on the back of this ring, you've got these two gaps. So you put the gaps over the two rubber inserts. Dave, if you wouldn't mind. And look at that, it literally just clips into place. And look at this, amazing. So, and this, this is gonna hold a slim can. So you can literally have your uh, Red Bull or some other sort of slim can in there uh, nice and easy. It's gonna hold it really, really well. So another ingenious thing. And finally, we have this thing. So let's go and have a look at this. So this is the uh, washer fluid. Uh, normally a yellow cap on here, although on a lot of subs it has uh, gone walkabouts. So uh, what we have here is a very well made cap and you can see that they've uh, branded it as well, Saab 3D print. So we just drop this around the neck of the bottle here. Oh, oh it's, actually a, a, oh, it's actually a little notch in this to line up with the notch on the bottle as well, which is cool. Just push that in place like that and then awesome that is lovely what do you reckon dave very good yeah spot on so yeah saab 3d print um some really awesome gadgets i'm looking forward to the other stuff that they're doing as they say so keep an eye on their website and um it's really really awesome to see guys like this making stuff for the saab brand well done guys